send some tests and tell your son what's wrong. I think she's having a heart attack. Please help! Mr. Johnson, please come with me to the waiting room. What kinds of tests? I'm sure we'll run an EKG, which measures the heart rate, and an MRI, which is like an x-ray of tissues. We'll take good care of her. Try not to worry. Grandma! Basically, what we think happened is her artery got clogged. The heart is a pump, and the arterial clog put too much pressure on the heart. Your mom's body was getting less and less oxygenated blood. This is what caused the heart attack. Will she be okay? What? I overheard your conversation. What happened to you? Dude, I fell off my skateboard. It was gnarly. Okay. Anyway, we expect she will be just fine. Grandma? Don't worry. Here, have a lollipop. Scalpel. Scalpel. We need to bypass the blockage. Explain why we need to bypass the blockage. Those are like automatic doors that close and prevent blood from flowing in the other direction. Blood in the circulatory system is what prevents the circulation of blood throughout the body if an artery is blocked. B blood can't travel to the lungs to distribute the oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. Excellent. You're almost a fine surgeon. Show us the functions of the veins. Well, the veins, like vena cava, carry the oxygenated blood back into the heart. The arteries have very thin walls. The blockage is complete. The bypass is complete. The sick entire circulatory system make sure everything is working properly. Her heartbeat is steady and holding. Wonderful job on the bypass, doctor. It's working well. Her extremities are warm, which indicates that oxygenated blood is reaching her fingers and toes. And okay. The white, and the white and red blood cells are working fine. Okay, let's close her up. Look at the pump working. It's a thing of beauty. Well, it looks like you're all better now. Thank you so much. Grandma, you better? Why you hurt? It's going to be okay. You're very lucky this time, Mrs. Johnson. There are, vi there, are, there are a lot of things you can do in the future to prevent another heart attack. One way is to eat healthier. Avoid foods that are high in cholesterol. Another way is to eat is to avoid smoking and limit your alcohol consumption. And most of all, your heart is a muscle and needs daily exercise in order to keep working properly. Also, your son was so worried he passed out. Mom, you okay? Yeah, I'll do anything to prevent another heart attack.